Everyone, I am Renowned Zero. Today we're going to be talking about Vito going on a small tirade yesterday over on Twitter, complaining about Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers talking about how the only reason that Diego Luna got his role as Andor is because of diversity BS. Right here, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers doubles down on his claim that the only reason Diego Luna was given the starring role in Andor is due to diversity BS. The fact that anyone listens to this idiot's opinion on media is genuinely sad. The fact that anyone listens to you about anything at all is sad, considering you defended this. You defended this awful piece of CP, we'll call it. And you want to talk about morality of other people giving opinions. You continued, Jeremy criti Jeremy's critique method boils down to identify a project with diverse characters, label the project will trash, if the project fails in the market, blame diversity. If the project succeeds, quietly stop talking about it, find a new project to target. Wrong. After his audience actually liked Andor, Jeremy was forced to lie and say he actually enjoyed it. This is despite his review calling it very, very boring. What are you what are you talking about? Okay. A very, very yes. He did enjoy it, but he said it was also boring. In some points, he enjoyed the aspect of the world building, but found it very boring. So, I mean, and then you come down here and you say you've never saw cuties, yet you're over here defending it like a P to the E to the D to the O, or a groomer would defend CP like you are, which is, again, this garbage here. To which Jeremy responded by saying, you, Vito is hiding comments where people are pointing out that he defended cuties, which he did many times. So please don't comment that he defended the cuties. It would definitely upset him. Don't do it. Don't mention that Vito defended the cuties. Make him cry just like he cries when he looks in the mirror at that disgusting body of his. I'm going to go play video games now. <laughs> of course, he limited replies as well. But yes, we're going to bring up this right here. Directly from this person, Zoraida Cordova, the author of the Star Wars High Republic Convergence talking about how we need more representation and she said it where is it I love that the Mandalorian actor Andor and Ahsoka have Latino leads for me it says that the Latin American diaspora extends to even space even in a galaxy far far away Latinos are a group of people stereotyped by Hollywood into a specific role so these Star Wars shows are refreshing the talent behind and in front of the camera, the talent and the keyboard matter, and that's what's really exciting about this era of Star Wars. So essentially the person's race is all that matters in this new world of Star Wars. Not that they're good at their job, just the fact that they're Latino, which is essentially what Jeremy's whole entire point was when he said that Diego Luna was cast for his race and not for his talent. It has become a rich, it has become, we just keep going, there's more to do, there are more changes to make. Still, just because we have more representation now than ever before does not mean there's more work to do. It has become a very beautiful thing to see the galaxy expand. Representation makes it bigger and richer and just more interesting. No, it doesn't. Representation does not make Star Wars bigger or richer. That's boring. It's exactly the point that Jeremy was making. You're just basing everything on the person's race rather than the talent of the people playing the characters such as Mando, Ahsoka, and Andor. This is the entire point that he was making. You even have the interview here from this person. Let's get into it. Uh, and now in the past... So you can see right in the corner they have, you know, of course, the communist fists over here. We've had, obviously, Oscar. We've had Jimmy Smith. I don't know if you've kept up person talking about different actors who are of Latino descent like again like it matters it, it matters about the uh, actors ability to perform the role that they're playing with this at all if you've seen any of the other Star Wars shows but how does it feel to have that ese apoyo del comunidad latino especialmente en este mundo de Star Wars how does that feel to see all these amazing because this person acts like there hasn't been Latinos who've enjoyed Star Wars before without seeing themselves. Same with the black community, same with Asian community. They act like they, they haven't been fans of this stuff prior to all this representation, inclusion, and diversity garbage. 
amazing actors that are Latino coming into this? Well, it's a. I mean, first of all, thank you uh, for that intro, man. Uh, and uh, I am, I am really pleased this is happening. You know, uh, I think it's, it's. Well, the, I think the industry is reacting to to what's out there. You know, like the world we live in is a, it's a world of diversity, of. That but this is Star Wars. It's a galaxy far, far away. See, people act like there hasn't been diversity in Star Wars before. We had Lando Calrissian. We had Mace Windu in actors Billy D. Williams and Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> that richness that different cultures and accents and uh, bring to, to our day, everyday life, you know? And I think the, the stories have to reflect on that. It's momento de que eso pase, ¿no? You even had, you even had Forrest Whitaker in Saw Gerrera in Rogue One. No hay, no hay ya, no hay marcha atrás, vamos. Eh, y, y... So it's about time we had Latino representation because we need to see ourselves. No, we can't just be the best actor for the job. We have to see ourselves. People have to see themselves in a movie in order to like a character. I love Lando Calrissian. I love Mace Windu. I ain't black. I'm not black. But in my opinion, this guy was terrible in Star Wars. As terrible as Andor because Rogue One was a terrible film. It was a boring film. And the only thing anyone ever talks about with this film is the Vader scene at the end of the film. Because it's the only redeeming quality of that film. Don, I would say Donnie Yen played a, acted better in this move, in that movie than Diano, Diego Luna or the other chick that played Jen Ursa, I forgot her name, Felicity Jones, I think her name was. So if you want to talk about representation, at least get someone who's actually good. Pedro Pascal plays Mando or Din Djarin better than you play Andor. So this is the whole point that Jeremy is trying to make. That they're all about this representation nonsense instead of getting the best actor for the job. Even says right here, he talks about Latino representation, how Star Wars reflects real world issues. It's like, it's literally right in your face. He spoke about the importance and joy of seeing more Latinos in Star Wars as well as how crucial diversity is to Star Wars stories. It's not crucial. It hasn't been crucial until y'all brought this in as can being considered crucial. We also discussed the relevancy of Andor scenes when it comes to current social movements. No one cares. And how Star Wars has always been a reflection of current world issues. Again, no one cares. And with the older movies, like the prequels and the original trilogy, the social world, social movements and whatever world issues were in the background. They weren't the main focus. The whole race of the people were not the main focus. The actors just played their roles well without anyone caring about the race or skin color of the people playing the characters. That's why characters like Lando Calrissian and Mace Windu are still loved to this day because no one actually cared about who played them. They just played the role well. They didn't care what they looked like. They were just great actors and that's what Star Wars should be. Great actors playing great roles and not worrying so much about seeing themselves just play the role well and people will be able to relate and love your character thank you all for checking out this video i really do appreciate all the new subscribers all the returning subscribers if you like the video make sure you hit that like button if you have a comment comment below what you feel about all this subscribe for more content hit the bell for notifications set it to all that way you get notifications anytime i post a new video and i will see you all on the next one peace